Greetings, welcome, bear with me, thank you for stopping by. Checking on that heart, check up, check up with Bloomy. That's why you guys see it all dark. So bear with me, those of you who are coming in, greetings, greetings, greetings. This thing cute. Greetings, welcome. Checking in, doing some heart check in. Bear with me as I give folks time to get in. I have it dark for a reason. But just hold on, if there's anybody coming in, it's time for a check-in. Check-in, as you guys can see, got some stuff going on here. I'm gonna wait a little bit to give folks some time. Wanna give some folks some time to get in here. Wanna do some, check some vitals. So just bear with me, greetings. Hey, welcome. Hello, no. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. It's dark, it's dim for a reason, guys. Trying to set the tone. All right, y'all see that disco ball there, right? Woo. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this one here, man, I swear. Okay, um, so I got it all set up. Got old doctor, heart chakra doctor, blooming. Okay, vital kit set up here, okay? Got that heart. Y'all see that heart right there? Okay, we're gonna do some check-ins. I actually have a rune on top of the heart. Okay, I don't know if you guys know what the runes are, but let's see here. This rune, it stands for justice, okay? Justice for your heart here, okay? But bear with me. Just bear with me, I do have some sprays. I have love. And I have peace, love, peace, right? Which is what some of you may need. I also have some um, angelic numerical codes to just infuse inside of that heart space there. Okay, I do have my uh, stethoscope so I can check out on the heart, right? Got some oils. I do have my pendulum to ask the heart some questions. See what's going on here. And I got that good old sunstone. Okay, the point, all about getting hooks off that heart and all about getting heaviness out the heart, but also equally bringing in light, hope, love, all the good old stuff. So it does two things, well, more than two but it serves as a hook release, but it also serves as infusing of the sun, okay? So we'll see, we'll see. 
So get comfy. I know it's dark. I want it dark. Hoping y'all can just come on in and just <sighs> find your space to relax. So I'm going to stall out and just let folks get in here before I jump right into it. Because I do want to give folks time. So I invite you, if there's anyone here at this point, because it's pretty late, so folks may be asleep, actually. It's pretty darn late, depending on where you are on the globe. Anyway, I'll say that. So uh, folks may be in bed and all that. So I'm just going to stall out a little bit longer. So get coffee, get cozy, get some tea, water, whatever it is, undisturbed. Okay, we do have some nice frequencies going on in the background. That's all about removing negativity, toxicity, returning to sender, all that stuff. The stuff that people is constantly sending out to you, or me rather, but that's what it's about. I have it playing for a reason. When there's an overflow of projection of negative energy towards you, okay, for whatever reason. But the heart. Energetically, okay, for those of you who are not familiar with who I am, uh, you know, because I'm going to upload this to the YouTube those of you who are not familiar with who I am, I invite you to check out both bio sections on TikTok as well as YouTube, looking at the videos and, and also the description. I am an energy channel, not just a tarot reader, energy channel, Reiki master, okay? Um, meaning channeling energy, certified um, in two different forms of Reiki, Yusui and Shekmet Shekem, which is Egyptian Reiki. And... Um, the master symbols and all that good old stuff to be able to channel distance, right? By proxy for those that are open to that, of course. So I also channel using um, angel healing, angel number healing, okay? So um, in other words, universal numerical codes for certain things. I've used it. Um, on myself, of course, I've used it on my son. Um, and these are some of the tools and things that have actually helped us throughout a lot of toxicity and things that have been done to us and practiced on us and sent to us and all those sorts of stuff. And it's also things that's continuing to assist, right? Healing, the Akashic Records, things are sent via the ethers, you know, all these different things that people are doing, right? So it's almost like alchemy and then going to that subconscious, going to that root place, right? Beautiful energy. I've done this. And uh, so I'm not going to be too deep. I'm not going to talk much. I'm actually going to get quiet after I do some vitals. And then, you know, just allow y'all to relax and listen to the, you know, clearing energy there, music. You can set your intentions, be like, hey. All the toxicity that I've gone through, all of the negative things people are sending me. I set my intention to receive this song, to, you know, return to sender, all of that, whoever's sending things to you, okay? And then just, yeah, all right? So with that being said, let's first take a look here. Before I get into the oil and the sprays and the numbers, Let's look in the eyes. The eyes are the windows to the soul. It's always in the eyes. I've learned this. It's always in the eyes, man. So let me see. Let me take a look at them pupils and see what's going on. In that soul, let the light in. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes the eyes have been over flooded by darkness. Sometimes we have fixated, ding dong, far too long on darkness, which obscures our view. All right, let's see. 
A little bit of overflow from some darkness, right? A little ASMR play, right? All right. I'm going to ask you all to open wide <laughs> your, your mouth, <laughs> guys. If you feel comfortable, oh, I don't want to see what's going on in the throat, the throat, your throat, your mouth, the seat, the throat. That's the seat of your beliefs. It's the seat of how you manifest the throat, the throat chakra. This often gets affected by seeing a lot of darkness for too long and conditioning and programmings and things that we've seen over and over again is locked in the throat. Okay, it's the seat of what we believe. It's the seat of how we manifest, okay? All right. So let me take a look see here. programming, holding one's thoughts back, one's feelings, one's emotions has certainly caused some cloggage here in the throat. The shine in the light in here. All right. You check that throat. You check the eyes. Let's see here. Let's check the heart. Hmm. Well, I can see. The heart is still alive here. There's still hope, but there's still a little crack there, okay? A little bit of a crack due to perhaps some injustices there. A little crack in the heart, a little bit of obstruction in the eyes, a little bit of foggage in the throat. So just sit back and relax. I need to take a listen here. Let's see how the breath, let's see the breath, the breath, the breath. Hmm. The breath, right? Sometimes when there's a, a crack in the heart chakra, the breath changes too. Stress. Anxiety, pain, worry, the breath, the flow, the flow. Let's listen, let's listen. Giving up hope. Some may be indifferent, but no fear. It's life, right? Seasons of life, you guys. Um, that's the nature of living on the earth planet. You know, seasons winter, spring, summer, and fall. Um, things beginning, things ending. Things that we wanted and hoped for and things that we never imagined and wouldn't have wished on anybody, right? All right. Now I'm going to bring out the pendulum and just ask the heart chakra energetically for those that resonate here. Couple questions. 
19, benevolent energy only on behalf of the collective that this would be for pertaining to their heart chakra. Benevolent high vibrational frequency only, my spiritual guidance team and those that I should reach out for. Just a little play in ASMR, checking in, also via Reiki Master symbols, calling in my Reiki Master lineage of old, activating both Usui and Shetmet Shikam Reiki. In the name of the highest and greatest good and perfect comfort, divine order, love, and light, and alignment for healing and release for those who are open, let's ask the pins on some questions regarding the heart. The collective that I'm channeling for the heart chakra, is it suffering current heartache and loss? Recent 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 current heartache and loss? Yeah. All right. Benevolent, high vibrational frequency only. But is the heart chakra of the collective healing properly? Is it 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 healing properly? Yes. All right, so it is healing properly. All right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to put some of this beautiful oils on my hand and on your heart for sending essential oils, rose, lavender, okay? The pendulum said that the heart is still healing. It's healing properly, even though... There's been some heartache and loss here. So the good thing is, it is healing properly. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my hands first. Okay, the guys are saying, justice will prevail. For your heart, I do have the room for justice placed right on the heart chakra there. Okay. Now I'm going to spray peace and love. First around myself here. Okay. Peace and love. So there's your keys. Take that in, just breathe and relax. Okay. Now, love. Cold into the heart chakra, into the heart. I'm going to use my sunstone point. Okay. I'm going to bring the heart chakra forward here. This is you. Put the oil there. This is you. 
Heart chakra, right? 19. In accordance with the higher selves and higher realms of benevolence only here. Let this represent the heart chakra. All right, we're getting a little bit more activity here with the heart.
balance, my healing, relief, release, Life, release, something, Amplifier room of justice. Thank 
piece and get it through. He's something that he's got something in mind. Alright. Now let's check the vitals. Again. Nothing said that the heart was healing properly. Suffering from a recent pain and loss, but healing still properly. A little bit of obstructions in the eyes and the heart and the throat. But everything is healing, so let's take another look see here. Let's look in the eyes. Eyes are the windows. Let me check in those eyes again. Yeah, look at that. It's getting brighter. All right, we're getting some clearing there. Now, let's open up the mouth. Say, ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. Say, ah. Uh. Stick out your tongue there. I want to look at that throat and see if we got a little bit of more relief here. Hmm. Okay, it's opening up a little bit more. Okay, there should be a little bit more ease and ebb and flow in the throat and a shift in pers perspective there. Now, let's take a look into the heart chakra here. I do have your room, your justice room, which is healing energy. I invite you to look at the rooms if you want to know more about that. But this stands for justice, so justice is being infused into the heart. Okay? Let's see if we got some improvement. Yeah. Alright, so we're slowly but surely moving the energy. Has there been improvement, significant improvement since our little mini ASMR session? Has it helped the heart chakra? Benevolent love and light energy and beings only here. On behalf of those that this is truly for, even in this little play, ASMR, but true, Reiki session by proxy. After this mini session here, has that improved the heart chakra? Has that improved? Has that helped release for those that this is for? Has this session helped release for those that this is truly for? Has this session helped to release for those that this is truly for? Has this session helped to release for those that this is truly for? Benevolent energy only. Yes, it has helped. So sometimes, you know, I just want to say, you guys, that even in things like this, it's all about intention. It's all about heart. It's all about motivation. And it's all about subtle energy. It doesn't have to always be big, pow, pang, boom. Sometimes these things happen subtly if we are open to it. And we accept our intention um, and the subconscious is open to it. Okay, so a lot has to do with the programming because the subconscious could resist a lot. And that's why it is recommended that we do a lot of sound therapy and that we do a lot of subconscious uh, reprogramming so that we could be more open to energy sessions. Okay, all right. Anyway, love and light, you guys. I hope that helps.